Hi there, Ronnie here, coming at you via the video. Um, slightly more personal one, although it does have something relevant to gaming about it. Um, on this YouTube channel, I can occasionally come across as someone uh, fairly confident comfortable in my own skin and certainly I can give that impression on uh, live streams when I've been playing role-playing games and when I'm on a gaming table I have a certain exude a certain confidence beyond that I don't have that and part of the reason um, it's a sort of circular thing for me uh, part of that reason is my complete inability to read body language to the point where I have sort of half jokingly said that I'm dyslexic when it comes to body language and that is true I can read body language um, in extremes if I see someone who's laughing their head off I think I can get the fact that they're happy if I see someone actually fuming with rage I get a fairly fairly thing that they're you know they're angry if I see someone uh, in floods of tears I can get the idea they're upset um, but nuances of body language I find very difficult this has caused problems with me in a couple of ways uh, one being that I'm not I misread people a lot I'm not very good at it at all. I misread the room. Also, because I can't read it, because I can't read people, I can't read a room, but I can't read people, um, I find myself not engaging because I can't fully understand reaction. I... I Oftentimes, I can't tell the difference between someone being sarcastic, but jokily, and someone being genuinely annoyed. I can't read that, and it's frustrating to me. This has caused problems with uh, uh, um, relationships, because I am simply incapable of making the first move um, because for example you know that that old thing of being in a pub or club and seeing a woman that you find sort of attractive um, I can't read her I don't know how to read her I don't know if she wants me to approach or not and I end up overthinking to the point where I overthink myself into complete inaction and yes I suppose there's a little bit of sort of um, cowardice in that but it's a cowardice born of a lack of confidence and self-esteem in myself and it's difficult I mean unless literally unless a woman was was there with a sign on her head saying I am interested in you please approach I would not be able to read it read her I mean the, the you know I've, I've, I've watched videos on on the subject and read books on the subject reading body language and they you know that's all one of the techniques if, if she sort of looks and smiles at you and then looks away it's a sign of attraction and I can't see it um, because my 
I mean, I see it. And I can acknowledge the 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 reality that they've looked they've smiled they've looked away but my heart doesn't feel that that is that connection somewhere along the line in all of that all i end up coming to the conclusion is either they're looking away in disgust or they were looking and smiling at someone behind me. And I have to that point, I've, I've seen someone, you know, turn and look and smile. And my instinct is to look round. And, you know, try and figure out who the hell they were looking at. Because I can't read that it was possibly me. And I say possibly because I don't know. Um, and it's 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 frustrating. I mean, I've the last few relationships that I've been in. I met those people via uh, dating sites, which was lovely. And I, I, you know, I don't regret any of those relationships at all. I scratched my head as to why why they were very, you know, what on earth it was about me that they were in any way interested in, but I don't regret them. Um, I get that, you know, they, they say that it's easier to meet someone on a, a dating site than it is uh, in a real life situation. I would disagree I understand the idea, but I disagree with the, 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 the reality of it. The idea is that, you know, a dating site, you know that the people there are there because they are looking for someone. They might not particu be particularly interested in looking at you, but they're there to look for someone. They're there to find someone. That's not something you can automatically assume on a dating site uh, in, in a pub or club. I mean, you know, a, a woman may be sitting there on her own but that doesn't mean she's looking for someone she could just be there for a quiet drink she could be there um, because her other half is in the bathroom uh, she could be there waiting on her other half to arrive she could be there with a group of friends and they're all off doing something and coming back um, and I think my you know me me sort of overthinking 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 into an action that that's some of the things that go through my head but the other thing about dating sites these days is they they've just become kind of a cesspool. Because um, so many guys on there now are, are you know using using uh, dating sites to either get one night stands or to have extramarital affairs or things like that. And understandably the women are getting quite jaded and I don't know the numbers of members by gender on these sites but I have a feeling um, the women will outnumber the men which means they have the luxury of choice um, you know they're not they're not in any way desperate I think I think that's one thing that that dating sites have managed to get round now um, is that old image of dating sites being a place for desperate people. But women have become so jaded now that it's very difficult to make connections because there's almost an assumption now that you're either in it for a one night stand or or you know you're you're actually married or or otherwise. You know, in a relationship, you're looking to have something on the side, um, or or worse, the, the the third one is the person who is only after a one night stand, but goes through the motions that they want a relationship until they actually bed the woman, in which case they get rid of her. Now, I have heard that there are women on the site that 
on these sites that are after the same thing, you know, that they're only after a one night stand. Um, damned if I've ever met any of them. I'm not sure what I would do if I did meet any of them, but I damned if I've met any of them. Um, but it makes, it makes meeting people that much more difficult. And yes, you can have conversations with someone uh, online, but it's words on a page, uh, words on a screen. It, it really doesn't become real until you meet, meet them face to face. Um, and then you get an idea of who they are. Yeah, who I am, yeah, not the best. Um, I just find it so difficult and I, I hear people talking about, oh, you, you know, you can meet people in supermarkets. What? How? People are just there, you know, d d d d buying food and, you know, getting groceries, getting stuff out of the freezer section. The last thing they're looking at is romance in the flipping aisles. Meet people in the library. How? They're either there to use the computers or they're there to, you know, pick up a book. They're not there to pick up someone else. But this goes back to, for me, this frustration in myself of not being able to read people. I mean, the truth is, maybe, possibly, maybe, perhaps, I have been in a supermarket and I've, you know, trolley full of, you know, trolley with, with food on it. And the people have, um, have maybe, you know, went past the woman and, and the woman has sort of went, oh, he's all right. I wouldn't be able to tell. Unless, of course, they actually put on a sign that says, yes, you are, you know, I like the look of you. I wouldn't be able to tell. It's just, I, I just can't do it. And it's frustrating for that. Would I call myself involuntary celibate, an incel? Um, only in the terms of the absolute definition, dictionary definition of those two words when put together. Um, I am by no ways a member of the incel movement. I find the, the, the notion of the incel movement to be um, toxic and frankly I would find them hilarious if they weren't so bloody dangerous um, but in terms of being involuntarily celibate I suppose the answer is to a large degree yes uh, I am celibate in so much as I'm not having you know I'm not involved in any sexual relationship of any kind be it uh, full time or casual um and haven't been for a couple of years now. Um, you know, I, I've not been with anyone since since uh, Fiona and I broke up. Um, and I, it's involuntary in the sense that uh, I don't want to be celibate. I don't want to not be in a relationship. Um, but that is not uh, entirely at my gift. You know, I can't just click my fingers and, and meet someone. Um, so it's involuntary in the fact that circumstances um, regarding my, my, my own self-esteem and my inability to read people uh, mean that my chances of meeting someone um, are uh, uh, diminished. And some people are happy being uh, a bachelor's and, and, and single. And, and if that's the case, you know, if that's the case, that's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. I'm not. And I think, um, I mean, Fiona and I broke up six weeks before lockdown. And I guess in a perverse way, there was a certain comfort 
in the fact that I was not um, in a position because of lockdown and all the restrictions in a position to actually uh, meet anyone. Um, so I found a certain perverse comfort in that because there was no way to be rejected. That's not the case now. Restrictions are starting to lift. Uh, freedom, you know, we're, we're um, a lot of the, the 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 understandable freedoms that were curtailed have, have started to lift now, and we're getting a bit more uh, being able to be more social again. And so all those worries and insecurities and fears and uh, inabilities of mine that I've not had to worry about for the last two years because they weren't going to come up um, are now at the fore. And what saddens me is that if I could... <laughs> I think the perfect woman for me, in terms of, in terms of being able to beat them, would be round a, a, a gaming table. I mean, the last two relationships I was in, um, that that sort of first meeting, uh, there was gaming involved in both cases. And that meant that they were able to see me, uh, I guess, at my most confident. Um which I guess helped. Uh, being that person away from the table is more difficult for me. <laughs>